Do you ever wish there was a way to hack your brain so you could sleep, focus, orgasm, or even brainwash a large group of people to follow your every command? Click that subscribe button. Well look no further, because in this video tutorial I will teach you how to create binaural beats, which have been proven to affect neurotic oscillations which can graphically be documented by electrocephalograms, which we all know are just magic words for brain waves. If you're familiar with binaural beats, then you too are probably looking for solutions to your never-ending insomnia and crippling self-doubt. Don't worry, most of us existing feel that way at one time or another. Even people with cocaine money feel that way. If you YouTube binaural beats, you will find hundreds of thousands of hour-long videos with millions of views and enticing snake oil-like titles to get you into a hypnotic meditative state. Look at that fucking AdSense revenue. But what if you don't want to support content creators? While you clicked on the right video, you smart, loyal, beautiful individual. Now here is the history of binaural beats. In 1796, Italian physicist, savant, and science historian Giovanni Battista Venturi asked the question, how the fuck do people locate sounds with their ears? And with his experiments found, the inequality of two impressions which are perceived at the same time by both ears determine the correct direction of the sound, he said very Italian-y. Then nobody really cared about binaural hearing for the next 50 years till English innovator Charles Wheatstone, inventor of telegraphy, basically the internet in the Victorian era, spectroscopy, basically virtual reality in the Victorian era, and this cute little instrument known as the concertina. He noticed that with binocular vision, when two different colors are presented to each eye, the colors did not combine but instead competed for perceptual attention. However, when the human ear hears two different frequencies in both ears, the ears would combine both frequencies and create a grave harmonic, or frequency only heard by the combination of the two different sounds, a term Wheatstone coined himself. If I was coining the term, I would have used phantom harmonic because it sounds 20% cooler. The next innovation of binaural beats was made in 1910 when fundamentalist Mormon engineer Nathaniel Baldwin created the first pair of audio headphones, which he made a fortune by selling to the US Navy. He later then went bankrupt after investing all his money in polygamy. True story. Then in 1924, German psychiatrist Hans Berger invented the electrocephalogram, the first instrument to measure brain waves. He also discovered the alpha wave rhythm of 12 hertz and named it after himself, calling it Berger wave. He later killed himself, but he was a Nazi, so it's okay, I guess. Before we create the waves, we must understand the different states of brain waves, which are labeled after the Greek alphabet because you know. <laughs> So you're probably watching this video with headphones on, and you might be asking yourself, what is that low frequency pulse I hear? That is an experimental waveform I created called a super gamma wave. It is 40 hertz by 80 hertz sine wave pulse that travels between the ears at a panning oscillation of 40 hertz made in FL Studio and Audacity. This entrains the brain to pulse at the same rate, causing the brain to mimic a gamma wave mode, which in Ian Gold's 1999 study implies gamma wave mode promotes unity of consciousness and singularity. In dumb people talk, the faster you vibrate, the more you become one. Or, the danker you are, the more powerful the memes. There are five known brainwave modes, each with their own unique attributes. First, you must understand what HZ is. HZ is short for Hertz which is a measure of cycles per second, basically how fast the wave is moving. Gamma mode, which is 40 to 80 hertz, is often associated with singularity and the herd mentality, which ironic enough is the frequency range in which most EDM and 808 kicks are found at. The next brainwave mode is known as beta mode, which goes from 15 hertz to 30 hertz. It is often associated with wakefulness, concentration, focus, and fight or flight response. Next is alpha wave mode, also known as Berger wave, 
which goes from 7 hertz to 12 hertz. It's often associated with a non-drowsy relaxed state in which people normally feel relaxed and daydream or get creative ideas. Some would also say it promotes learning and elevates mood, which is why I've been hiding alpha wave frequencies in half of my videos since early 2015 for scientific reasons. Theta wave mode is 3 hertz to 5 hertz, which is often associated with inspirational inception level subconscious dreams. And the final mode is delta wave mode, with 0 0.000001 hertz to 3 hertz. It's often associated with deep dreamless sleep, or trance-like states where you can finally feel the void. And if you have 0 hertz, then your feet, you feel nothing. For those of you who notice the different modes are separated by the golden ratio, congratulations, you get extra credit and a gold star and positive vibes. Now you're probably asking me, what would listening to really low frequency waves do to my brain? Well, once upon a time in 1665, a Dutch physicist by the name of Christian Huygens invented the pendulum clock. He loved it so much he made another one and put them next to each other. Then his brain switched into alpha mode and he got a brilliant idea. Why don't I just put them together and make one pendulum go one way and the other pendulum go the other way and see what happens, he said very Dutchly. The very next day he found that both pendulums began swinging at the same rhythm and he was like, hey Lamau, that's spooky mate. What Christian discovered was the first example of the physics phenomena known as entrainment. Entrainment is when two interacting oscillating systems assume the same period. This happens because two out-of-sync oscillations created energy called negative feedback. And since the universe is fucking lazy, the laws of physics want to minimize the energy to zero and the phases will slowly affect each other until they are sympathetic of each other's feelings and become in sync. The heart and brain do the same thing when we listen to music. This is known as biomusical entrainment. When humans hear repetitive rhythms, they can easily get in sync with the beat and tap their feet or clap their hands or jump when the DJ tells them to jump. No other animals can do this except human beings, and really smart cockatoos. For reals, the birds are always on beat. Biomusical entrainment is the reason why people at raves feel this oneness with the crowd, or people singing in church feel this oneness while singing. It has a lot to do with oscillating low frequency waves putting everyone's brains in sync. So you're probably asking yourself, well, Frank Javsey, how do I create these brain controlling waves myself? Well, I'll be using my favorite program, Audacity, to teach you guys how to do it. For those of you who don't know how to install Audacity, there's like these 12 year olds that make tutorials on YouTube and they already show you how to do it. You're also probably wondering why there's video games in the background. It's because I've learned from the YouTubes that if you have hypnotizing visual content, people will listen to every word you say. So first what you're gonna wanna do is go to generate and then select tone. And this will generate any tone that you want. You can generate all of these, but just use sign because it's a perfect waveform. Now for binaural beats, um, you're gonna have to use a frequency between a hundred and a thousand. It normally doesn't work beyond a thousand or below a hundred. So for audio sake, I'm gonna put the frequency at 300 hertz. And for times constraints, I'm gonna lower it to like six. And then for seconds, I'm gonna put... So now you have a sine wave of 300 hertz, which sounds like this. Yeah, it's not very impressive and doesn't sound very binaurally. So what you're going to want to do is create a second wave. So do the same thing. Go to tone. And now this time for frequency, instead of 300 hertz, we're going to have to put in an interval of what we want our brain wave mode to be. Making a difference of 3 hertz will make a delta wave mode. Making a difference of 5 will make a theta wave mode. Making a difference of 12 will make an alpha wave mode. And making a difference of 30 will make a beta wave mode, and making a difference of 40 will make a gamma wave mode. In this uh, tutorial, I'll be making an alpha wave, so I'm gonna only go up by 12 hertz and press OK. Now we have two audio tracks, and when you play them together, it'll create a giant peaking wave that sounds detuned. But we're not done yet, because we need to make this binaural. So on the first frequency, Slide it all the way to the left, pan it all the way to the left so it comes out the left, earphone only. And then on the right one, slide it all the way to the right and then press play and that is basically how you make binaural beats. There you go. Now, 
since we want to manipulate the system for our own goods, what we're going to do is generate a WAV format. So to do that, go to File, then go export the audio, and then type in Alpha Wave Mode Binaural Beat and save it onto your desktop. And then when you drag it in Audacity, it should look like this. Next, what you're going to want to do is look up a kaleidoscope and select one of these fancy ones. See, this one looks nice. I like kaleidoscope stuff and like symmetry and pretty colors. So this one will do fine and then just save it. Next, in your editor of choice, drag the wave and the picture and render a video with just this. It should uh, look and sound like this. Next, upload it to YouTube. What you're going to want to do is type in binaural beats and make sure you have like a really clickbaity thing like attract uh, YouTube subscribers plus AdSense revenue to your life and there you have it that's all you need to do to create a binaural wave video i mean you could also add ambient sounding music if you're into that sort of stuff or whatever but that's basically how you entrain your brain to enter different states in which you can relax or go to sleep or get really focused and that's what i've been listening to for the past uh two years i, I stopped listening to music and i just listen to sine waves so thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate all of you viewers for um subscribing and watching and commenting and talking to me and stuff it, it, it's been really cool i also want to thank my friend weston shimes from new zealand for giving me really cool kaleidoscope uh videos and he let me use them so check out his instagram it should be in the description links below if you want to support my channel you can uh, go to my band camp and download my music for free or for money and also my music is also on spotify so i recently found out streaming is like 10 times more adsense revenue than uh, youtube so if you want to stream my music uh it's like 10 times more than watching my videos so check me out on spotify if you want if you want to suggest future videos just leave your comments and I, I, I read them all. So thank you for watching. I love you guys. Remember to create exponentially so that we can increase our vibrations so we can elevate to the next level of consciousness.